你好，我是商生凤凰 Dev. Hello, everyone. This is the Rising Phoenix Developer, and today we're going to do some animation within Unity 3D. So to get started, let's go ahead and open up a brand new Unity project. So to begin. Click New Project. Okay, Unity, speed up. There we go. All right. So it's going to be a 3D project. We don't need any asset packages whatsoever. So new Unity project. Let's name it to How to Animate in Unity. There. Create projects. And you have to wait for it to import all the default package crap that it needs. There we go. Beautiful. So we have a completely blank solution, and I actually have my resolution set for 4K, which is a huge resolution. So if you want to know how to do that, real quick, you can just add the plus sign, then put the resolution size of 4,096 by 2160. And it'll default to it. So, what we need here is we need to add some folders. First folder, let's make prefabs. Next folder, models, scenes, and the last one, just because I like to keep things nice and neat. Animations. There. Next up, we need a model to be able to create these. Animation. So let me go ahead and open up. Let's see where is my model. Do, 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 do. Dev projects. Unity 3D not shown. Hand animation assets model. This will give me all of the all of the、uh, materials to model itself. And the meta is actually created within Unity, so you don't have to copy that. I just did it. All right, there we go. Now, in case you're wondering, hand animation. This was a test project where I was doing multiple things, not just、uh, animating models, but also animating 2D characters, and also animating、uh, different screen effects. So this, this.、Uh, Style works with everything. So to begin, let's go ahead and drag our mod. Go to scene view. Drag our model in. Reset position. There. Now let's look at in game view. And click on the model itself. And let's give it there. Then we'll. Rotate it by 180 degrees, so that way you can see the front and back of the character. And as you can see, it's a very simple、uh, model.、Uh, she has no weapons or anything like that, so this is going to be fairly easy to、uh, modify. Now, what we're going to do here is the animation itself is going to be simple. We're not going to modify the legs or anything. We're just going to modify the movement of the arms. So first things first. Let's go ahead and drag. Actually, let's rename her.、Uh, let's call her Chick. And let's create a prefab upper. Simple enough. Now, next thing we want to do is just so that we.、Uh, I deleted the.、Uh, Lights off of her because we don't need those other light sources. We have a light source within Unity. Next up, we're since we want to modify the arms, we need to make sure that we toggle down the hierarchy for those. So as you can see, there's left shoulder, left arm. Let me show you what happens. So you want to modify on the z-axis, and it'll raise and lower. So I'm just going to reset that to default. 
And same thing with right arm. So left arm, right arm. That's what we're going to be manipulating. Now, to create the animation, the first thing we want to do, we want to go to the animation tab. If you don't know where that is or you don't have it already preset up on your editor, just click on the window animation control plus six or control six or we'll open that up now I put it next to the project in console just so everything's all together so to begin animating chick so as you can see you can do this with any object within the hierarchy click create and you want that animation folder we're gonna call this flap now I'm going to show in slow motion exactly what I'm doing first and foremost and then I'm going to uh, do a uh, speed through of the remainder because it would take an exponentially long time just to do it in a standard video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is click on the arm and we're going to want to uh, I don't like it not being a whole number. Ah, uh, screw it. So we'll do eight. Up, oh, not yet. Whoops. First, click that record. Otherwise, you're just gonna not do anything. So eight. There. Make sure we do the same thing to the right arm. Eight. So we have that already preset. Right. Next, we click there to add a key. We click go to next keyframe. Now, we can just change this manually. Nine. Nine. Uh, add key. We'll do the same thing here. Ten. 10.101 let's keep everything the same add another keyframe eleven eleven all right so let's see what we have so far good now let's stop the record and let's look at it within unity as you can see she already has the animation component she already has that controller, so everything is already preset. So we can actually view it. And it moves rather quickly, and that'll be modified later on. I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do a speed by of me completing the entire animation. All right, so I'll see you in a few moments. All right, now that I have the uh, animation uh, set up the way I want it to be, uh, for the most part, now let's go ahead and adjust the uh, the timings. That's a really important thing here. There, we'll just drag that out. Uh, let's make it so that they're all roughly about even. I'll drag that to the next. 155, 150, drag this over to 145, one ten, one oh five, one fifty five, fifty. As you can see, I'm doing increments of, let's see, this would be five milliseconds.
So I'm also going to copy this one, paste it, drag it back to 0, 0, and this is going to be negative 8. What? Bye. Alright, there we go. So let's take a look at it. Not bad, not bad at all. So we'll stop the recording and then we'll play it. Alright. There's something I forgot to do, Unity? Probably. Okay, Unity. Thank you. Take a look at her. Yeah, she has everything. So it was just Unity being slow. There we go. So that's her animation. Now it doesn't seem like much because there's a lot more we could do and I could actually increase the spread. Because right now we just have it from T-Pose going up a little bit coming down. So it's not exactly all that pretty and awesome. But that is the basis of creating animations from scratch in Unity. And we can take this one step further. Let me just show a little bit of how you would do something along the lines of, say, moving the feet or something. So I'll just bring this over, bring it to the next keyframe. And what we're, we'll do is we'll do right and left leg. Actually, let's do the spine. I like modifying the spine. So what we'll do is we'll bring it over there. And then we'll copy it paste it make sure we still follow that uh, five millisecond rule here there then we'll paste and let's see we drag that on the Z right So we'll just make this a negative 10. So I'll do negative 10. And then we'll paste another copy, drag it over to the 10 mark, paste. And then this one will be, what, zero? No rotation? Yeah. Right. Let's add a new keyframe and we'll drag that over. And this one is just going to be a simple uh, right leg on the Z. Nah, that looks horrible. Right leg up on the Z. So we'll just put her right about there. So I'll copy that value. We'll keep that. Create a new key. Drag that key over. I'm a stickler for keeping things in line. Alright, so left leg up then we'll switch to the next one in which case that is whoops negative 90 yeah All right. let's try that again Seventy-seven, and then that one goes back to negative seventy, negative ninety.
Alright, so that's all done. So let's take a look at the animation. And it just creates some really interesting effects. Like I said, I'm horrible at animations. But this kind of gives you the idea of what's going on here. And really what you should do, since I, whenever you retroactively add, say, a rotation on the leg or something, or on the spine, it's going to add those uh, rotations to it to whatever value you set it to. So you need to make sure that those initial values stay the same. Otherwise, you have wacky stuff like this happening. All right, we'll stop that. But as you can see, animations are not the hardest thing in the world to do. And anyways, uh, that was my tutorial for today. Uh, if you like it, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. This has been the Rising Phoenix Dev. I'm signing out.